A few weeks ago, the auditor of a little-known company called Milestone Furniture disappeared. Bhupendra Gandhi, a chartered accountant, auditor of Milestone, an SME-listed company, was due to attest the company's financial results for FY23. However, his disappearance has left the company's FY23 result declaration in limbo and investors in this company are left scratching their heads. Hello everyone, welcome to Wealthy's YouTube channel. Well, Milestone isn't the first listed company that has descended into a penny stock. It's a truism to appeal to investors to follow due diligence when investing in stocks. This is equally applicable when dealing with stocks listed on the small and medium enterprise, that is SME exchange. Such stocks hardly have any liquidity in the secondary market, and selling them can become tricky in such a situation. Additionally, there is hardly any analyst coverage for such stocks. SME Exchange is a stock exchange where shares of small and medium enterprises are listed and are available for trading. They are used for listing and trading shares for companies with small market capitalization. BSE, SME and NSE Emerge Platform are India's two most popular SME exchanges. To list on BSE, SME, the company must be incorporated under the Companies Act 1956 or the Companies Act 2013. The post-issue paid-up capital should be less than 25 crore with positive net worth. And there should not be any change in the promoters of the company in the preceding one year from the date of filing the application to BSE. On the NSE's Emerge platform, most of the conditions are same, but companies need to also have positive cash accruals from operations for at least two out of three years preceding the application. To migrate from the SME platform to the main board of BSE and NSE, the applicant company must be listed on the SME platform for at least two years and the paid-up equity capital should not be less than 10 crore and some other conditions as well. In the case of Milestone Furniture, most of the above stated points are not fulfilled. Along with the CA's disappearance, the CEO and managing director have resigned, the promoters have sold their stake, revenues have fallen by 100% in FY22 and the losses have skyrocketed. Over the last few years, there has been an upstick in investors investing in the SME-listed companies. However, the investments are made mostly on hope and a prayer rather than proper analysis. There have also been many cases of companies' shares posting big-time losses after being listed on the SME exchanges, and many retail investors have borne the brunt. It will be interesting to see if the stock exchanges increase the supervision of companies listed on their SME platform with the increasing investor interest in that segment of the market. Investors, on the other hand, should consult an expert or an advisor before jumping into investing in SME stocks. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.